What is up everybody on the YouTube? Welcome. We've got another banging account review as they always are. We are reviewing an AR-59 player. Super late game, but they've only really got two team comps they said they have built. We've got some work to do. There's no shame in that. Everyone plays Gantz in their own way. Let's hop into this. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Let's get it. Homies, we are in. Tanana was a kid. <laughs> Why is everyone dead? <laughs> I'm already seeing some fatal flaws in your account, Nanua. Okay, Kokumi woke up from her bad dream. So let's kick off the account review. For a little intro to Nanua's account, I asked, what would you like the viewers and myself to know about your account? They said, I am a huge simp for Hydro characters, especially the Hydro ladies, and Kokumi is above all else. And I triple crown characters I like. It's absolutely based, I'm the same. I have triple crown Yunjin. That auto attack is going crazy. But even if I haven't built them yet, I will get to them eventually. Copium. All right, I respect that. I love it when people play Genshin how they like, but we can still give some advice no matter how you play, maybe. So homies, getting a little bit of a brief overview of Nanua's characters. Kokomi, right at the top. Love it. Deluke, level 20. <laughs> Gigi, level 20. Uh-huh. Kaching, level 50. Cool. The other great five stars. Nilu, Ayato, Yelan. You do got all the Hydro, like, fantastic characters. Is Mona missing? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, unlucky! <sighs> One day. Zhongli, Jean, Yula, Venti, and Ganyu. This is a all-star cast of characters. And I can see you've got some of my favorite four stars, some of the best four stars in the game at level 90. Fischl, Xingqiu, Sucrose, Shangling, Bennett. You have got so many teams you can run, my friend, and uh, I can't wait to drop some knowledge. Let's move over to the weapons. I wanna see if we got any fire five-star weapons here. What a star-studded lineup. Look. As a donut haver, it's still weird to me to even see people have this weapon. You've got some great five-star weapons. Lots of good stuff here. I see a R3 Akuomaru. That's juicy. R5 Xyphos. R4 Favsor. Interesting. Bro, what is this? I've never seen this. New fishing weapon from Subaru. Kaching with the Cinnabar. Absolutely base. The catch... R1 level, that's... Okay. To tackle your first question, what teams do you think I should start building for the Abyss outside of my two teams I have, which are Sukokomon and Raiden Sunfire? I think we can help you out. I'm gonna try not to mix and match and keep your teams the same, but it looks to me like you're gonna have some fire teams. For some reason, it is a hot take that Nilu is broken. What makes a character good? how fast they can clear the abyss. That's all she does is she makes Bloom obliterate the abyss. She's broken, bro. So here we go. I actually like Dendro main character. Please imagine this is a Dendro traveler. The fact that you're Electro is honestly upsetting my stomach a little bit. And then Kokomi obviously is the shit, but I would like to say, and I do advocate, you do not need Kokomi for Bloom teams. Lots of people think you do, I get that her healing is great and she's an amazing applicator. You don't need her. So if you want to run Kokomi, like Sukokomon, don't worry about it, but she is going to be the best. If Kokomi isn't enough healing for you, run Kale, but I see you don't have Kale leveled up. So just run Yao Yao. The reason why Kokomi is so good, the healing is great, but she is consistently the jellyfish. Boom, boom, boom. It's easy to stack elemental mastery on her and the blooms are going to do crazy damage. So you've got a fantastic bloom team right here. And if you do want to run that team, Nilu, just two piece HP, two piece whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Max elemental mastery on Kokomi. Sack frags, triple EM. Flower of Paradise Lost or Gilded or two piece, two piece EM. You don't have to get fancy with it. It's easy. I saw you had a Eula team over there. So let me just uh, peer on into it. This is a great Eula team. You do have Raiden, right? Which maybe you want to run the Raiden National. Some people think like Raiden's energy generation is like super needed for Eula. If you're just like funneling energy well, You've got a Favonius weapon on one or even maybe two of your characters. Yule's gonna be absolutely fine. You don't need Raiden. Raiden is great, not necessary. Slap Fischl, boom, I love Fischl. Fischl generates so much energy, okay? Whenever uh, Oz is like smacking his little mini attacks, he generates particles pretty darn frequently. You can run Fav Lance on Rosaria. You can even run Fav Bow on Fischl. You're gonna get a lot of energy on the Eula. This team will be great and it won't affect any of the team comps you've already made. So I think that that's nice. So I can see that on this team, you have Bennett and Jean. Obviously, Shangling national stuff is not 
insane. You can run this without Bennett and you're totally chilling. You can go Shangling Ayato, which is fantastic. You could run a uh, Xing Cho and just run double Hydro. Shangling's enough Pyro. She's gonna need energy, so maybe Favonius Codex on Sucrose. And this is just me trying to not use Bennett. Obviously, slapping Bennett here is just like amazing. So I don't wanna like get too deep into the Shangling sauce because you can run her with practically any characters in the game and she's broken. Melt Gone Yu is fire. You just put up the shield so you don't get knocked over. Bennett burst, Shangling burst. And then it's kind of a hard to play team. That's why I think the team is kind of fun. You gotta wait for the Shangling burst to come wrap around hit the enemy and then boom, hit him with the charge attack to make sure that you melt. You can run this. This is like Morgana, you know, the old school OG freeze, Ganyu stuff. Nothing wrong with uh, this team at all. Hyper Bloom, it's broken. It's stupid. All you gotta do is stack all the master on Kuki, normal Xing Cho build, get deep wood on one of these two. And probably I would deep wood call a focus on healing with the Yao just because you want to stay alive. Yao doesn't do much damage. And this can be riding. Stack Elemental Master on her. GG. Easy. I think it's about time I go look into your favorite teams, which I see. We're going to start with two Pokemon. We'll move over to that Raiden Yelon national team. And I want to see what we can improve on your specific teams that we're looking at right now. Starting off with Fischl, the Princessin. Rocking the Elegy. Beautiful. I'm jealous. I wish I had allergy. Two piece, two piece. Do not feel shame in running two piece on Fischl. Fischl loves two piece. She utilizes it great. She doesn't need a four piece, so I respect it. C3. Hey, I know she hasn't been on a banner in a minute, but I'd love to see a C6 because she becomes one of the best characters literally in the entire game. But obviously, pulling for four stars is 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 rough. Talents nine nine nine. Very princessing. Now let's check the artifacts. Yo, attack percent. I love that piece. Ooh, elemental mastery roll, 11 crit rate, 13% crit damage, no missed rolls. Nanama's got some sick pieces. Oh my God. This one's great too. Like these are low rolls, but like, who cares? Don't be, a, don't be. A thing. And then crit rate, 14% crit damage, two attack rolls, the defense rolls, eh, it happens. This is a fantastic build. Your facial looks great. Sure, in a perfect world, you could get a four piece of Thundering Fury, which would be like, cool on some comps or even gilded fish is looking beautiful to coco coco builds you know you just stack hp we got the donut four piece ocean hued constellation zero triple crowns Ooh, a fellow brother in arms of triple crown kokomi love to see it this is her best dps build and you have a four piece and you have all the right stats i don't think kokomi is a character you really need to go out there and like super optimize her stats but just keep in mind if you are gonna run her on the bloom team i recommended you seriously do want em 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 it's that simple just stack a bunch of em let's check the queen at least she's level 90. she's rocking engulfing lightning which is fire honestly it looks so cool on her we got four piece emblem we're starting off with a crit rate crit damage offset piece 3.9 7.8 never hit moment of silence but uh it's still a pretty good piece like 22 percent energy recharge is pretty sick this one has some mediocre rolls but emblem's tough wow this piece is hot. This is almost 40 crit value. Another juicy. That's 40 crit value, baby. With Elemental Mastery, love to see it. I think just with the characters you like and because Genshin Impact is Emblem of Severed Fate Impact, that's probably going to be a direction we want to take the, the farm. Constellation 6, love it. Talents, 9 and 9. Beautiful. Sucrose on the Sack Frags. R5, Viridescent Venerer. Love to see it. C6. Talents are triple crown Sucrose. Okay, we got a Sucrose simp here. 838 on a little mastery. Energy recharge. Cool. This is a lot of crit stats and energy recharge. Energy recharge. Beautiful. 21 energy recharge. Love that. And then some EM and energy. Yeah, not bad at all. Sucrose looks great. I like what I'm seeing on that team. Let's check out the Sunfire Yelon. Her Excellency is level 90. She's got the other Engulfing Lightning. Four Piece Emblem, C0, 999 Talents. I want to commend you, first of all, on how high your talents have been on all the characters you care about. I did recommend some other characters, so hopefully their talents aren't complete doo-doo, which I'm afraid they might be. But I have some good news for you. The Bloom team I recommended doesn't need talents at all because Tendro's broken. That's hot. I get 30, you know, four crit value isn't the craziest. But on set, hey, I'd kill for a piece like this. I don't have one. 14% crit rate, ER? Damn, that's an awesome piece. 35 crit value, energy recharge, not bad. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I see where the good emblem pieces went. Let's check the stats. 
59? If I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that happy with that crit rate. The other stats are obviously beautiful. The crit damage and the energy recharger are busting. Let's check out Yalon on Aqua. Emblem, beautiful. Constellation 1. Constellation 1 is so sick because like you effectively do double the damage because you get the skill twice. And then you get double the energy. Let's not ignore triple crown Yalon. Artifact time. <sighs> That's so good. This piece could use some work. HP Sands. That looks great. Lots of energy recharge again. Crit rate, crit damage, HP roll, never hurt nobody. And then that's a fire piece right there too. So yeah, Yalon looks really good too. Let's see the whole enchilada put together. Once again, the crit rate could be like a little bit higher. So like these stats look fantastic. And the thing is, is HP does give diminishing returns at a point. You've got an HP Sands. You've got the Aqua Simulacra's passive. And then you're probably running her with another Hydro character on some teams. Hydro Resonance, that's a ton of HP. So I think like eventually the circlet, I mean this, no offense, this circlet is also pretty like copium. Another reason to grab some more emblem. Let's check out Benny. I don't harp too hard on Benny. He's got Sapwood. He's got no bless. He's C6. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with that. These pieces are pretty darn like bad but i mean hey bennett's still really good maybe in a couple months down the road you, you've got your emblem pieces in line you can improve your no bus pieces for bennett what's up gene in the little golden apple archipelago outfit we got xyphos's moonlight this is actually probably pretty good on gene c1 talents na na nine em 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 crit stats energy recharge beautiful yeah jeans dude this is a cool gene so your characters are Pretty, they're looking great for the, the two teams that you gave me that you really like. Looks like Emma of Cyber Fate is gonna be your friend, but if you're looking for other teams, because with how weird and convoluted they're making the Abyss lately, you can't really get everything done with your two comfort teams. You're gonna need to run some other stuff. So let's go look at some of your oh, maybe lesser built characters right now. Let's check out the Ganyu. Okay, artifacts, none, that's all right. <laughs> okay, she's cracked. If you're not using Yalon on the other side, just run Aqua. And then taking a look. Oh my God, you have so little artifacts. Am I crazy? But like, look how low these, to <laughs> these total numbers are. This is kind of wild. Hey, yo, look, I've been strongboxing too. <laughs> but like... I'm AR60, I'm only a little bit ahead of you. I got like six glad flowers, four feathers, three sands, like seven good goblets, and like seven good circlets just because they come all the time. I'm having a little bit of a tough, tough time believing that all the pieces you've thrown away deserve to be thrown away. I don't know, I guess be a little bit more lenient in what pieces you keep. Like if something has one crit stat or something. The thing is like, think about this. The next Thundering Fury Feather that you get is now your best Thundering Fury Feather on your entire account. When we get into those characters that you don't have as build or you want to use different team comps, we have nothing to, to put on them. I think you got to farm artifacts for like roughly four months straight to catch up. <laughs> oh my God, look how many helms there are. This is the whole account. Crit, crit, crit. There's no way. <laughs> Two crit damage hats on the entire, on the entire account. AR-59. I don't want to sound dramatic. Okay, but I feel like we, I feel like I was the police coming to like search a house that they heard someone screaming in the night and the police come in. The guy was so nice, great, house is spotless, all that good stuff. And the cops eventually, they start to feel like, you know, man, this guy's not bad, eh? This is a false alarm, man. And as they're walking out of the house, they see in the corner of their eye, a bloody oh, sleeve of a jacket coming out of the like <laughs> closet or something. It was like, everything looked really good. And then boom, like I just got smacked. 120. But homies, I do want to show you guys something. Nanoa didn't even humble brag in their description of their account about the fact that they have 859 achievements done. Okay, look at all these 100%. What an achievement, Hunter. Wait, I wanna see these primos. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Oh my God. You know what? For making me sit through those artifacts, I'm gonna I'm a rip a temple right now. Okay, you're not gonna feel it. Let's get it! <laughs>
Yeah, I got a feeling you haven't pulled anything in a while. What an absolute legend. This is the self-control that these Twitch chatters could never imagine having. Look at this shining example of self-discipline. Well, they are pretty, you know, quick to throw away every goddamn artifact they farm. But, you know, besides that, 100%, 100%, 100%. 79, 90? Nanua, you desperately need these primo gems. What are you doing? 83, 79, 90, go, go, go. Oh my God. How are you going to get your new favorite character? <laughs> So gamers, that is gonna do it for Nanua's account review. First of all, shout out to Nanua. Thank you for showing us your awesome account with the characters that you have put so much effort into. I think we found the weakness in your account. So lads, shout outs to everybody here on Twitch. Come check out the stream. If you ever wanted to get your account reviewed, you gotta be here. Or just have a fun time with some people who love Genshin Impact like we all do. Big shout outs to the patrons, Zik, Poison Tongue Boy, Baked Sayu, casual and meow everyone else on patreon everyone watching the video like comment subscribe it goes a long way it really does do it please see you guys next time